Tonight, one of the two deputies who was shot in Compton on Saturday has been released from the hospital. His release comes as investigators continue the search for anyone with any possible involvement. Robert Kavasik is live for us tonight. He's in Linwood, where the second deputy is still being treated. Robert. Chuck and Colleen, here is where we are at this hour. One deputy in the hospital behind me, one deputy out. One man is a mystery. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department remaining a visible presence tonight in the parking lot at St. Francis Medical Center. Sheriff Villanueva tweeting, great news, one of the deputies was released from the hospital today. That 24-year-old deputy was shot Saturday along with his 31-year-old partner who tried to save him. Apparently, she is still in the hospital. The person who shot them still unidentified. Multiple law enforcement sources tell NBC4 last night's 10-hour standoff in Linwood, ending with an arrest of a man for carjacking and assault with a deadly weapon was, in fact, part of an effort to find those responsible for shooting the two transit deputies. Is he being if there's any possibility that he could be connected, of course we're going we're to explore that. That would be responsible us to not do that. Tonight, a Sheriff Villanueva tweeting about the deputy who is out of the hospital. He has a long road ahead for recovery, but he's not alone. We as a community are in this together. While the reward for information leading to the arrest of the shooter is now at $300,000, there is a GoFundMe page started by a sheriff's deputy that has swelled to 600000 to help those deputies on their long road of recovery. We are live tonight here in Linwood. I'm Robert Kavasik. Colleen, let's go back to you.